but it just seems like when you just hit the black and white slider, the just it's a little anemic, right? Like it needs a little something. All right. So got this shot with Dominique. This was from a model digitals session uh, that we did uh, a few weeks ago, actually. Um, this was not one of the standard, you know, model digital poses. We always do a little extra. And uh, this shot, I just loved it. I love um, this is from the obviously the swimsuit part of the digitals, but I love the eye contact here. Um, it's just fantastic. And I wanted to do a black and white version of this. And uh, so I did, but uh, I'll show you uh, how I, and, and I removed the virtual copy. I'm just going to create a virtual copy of my edit because this is an edit. And in this virtual copy, that means I can keep the original right and I can kind of just play around with this one, do what I want to. Um, I've got a lot of black and white type presets over here. Um, and I think I picked one of these, I think it was this blue tone, maybe one of these, but it made me think, you know, you see, you can see all the different skin tones and colors and, and all that kind of stuff. And I don't do a lot when it comes to modifying black and white portraits. I know some of you guys have a lot of neat tricks, but um, the one that I will give you, this actually looks pretty cool, uh, this one here. But if we just use you know, going to black and white, doing a black is not just as simple. I mean, it can be as simple as just hitting this black and white right here, right? And we're there. Um, but usually there's a little more to it. Like I might want to play with the contrast a little bit. I mean, it's a little flat when you do that because I feel like when you just do black and white, you know, you don't do anything else. I feel like, you know, with the color version, you have lots of different tones and the colors, right? From light to dark. And, you know, in the black and white, you have from shades to gray all the way to black um, and white. But it just seems like when you just hit the black and white slider, just, it's a little anemic, right? Like it needs a little something. And, you know, just looking at this to my eye, the first thing I feel like I need to pull the blacks down just a little bit. And the other thing that I usually do... And you black and white fans will probably have a lot more stuff you can do and put it in the comments if you do. But just as far as skin tones go, I usually come down here to the B&W in the color mix. So you wouldn't think that playing with the color mix would do anything, but it does uh, in the black and white, and particularly the orange. So watch what happens when I move this orange slider back and forth. If I go to the left... You know, I can make her a lot darker, and if I move to the right, I can make her a lot lighter. Now, you really want to stick to, you know, pretty close to, you know, how dark or light she is in color, and that's where it gets kind of hard, but obviously that's wrong, you know, um, and going all the way. So you want to, you don't want to go to one end or the other too far, small moves, right? Um, but I thought, you know, I might want to, let me just start from zero. I'm losing my frame of reference, but I might want to go about, you know, there. I feel like it gives her um, just some more contrast and tone, right? Um, you can also play with the reds, and that picks up the, the darker tones a little bit more. And I bring those back just a little bit, right? So if I turn the B&W off, you know, that's where I started. It looks fine, but I feel like there, maybe I brought the black or the reds down too much. I feel like we just maybe got a little bit extra, right? I'll turn it off again. It's just very subtle, but it's a little extra. Um, you can definitely come up and play also with the the clarity. Um, seems to do a lot if you bring it back and you bring it forward to the right. So it depends on what kind of look you're looking for. If you want a little high clarity look, um, that also will impact the tones uh, in the shot. So uh, just a little bit of uh, playing around there with the black and white mix i want to say color mix but it's not colors right but still you're adjusting the orange and the red and you are impacting the skin tones so um, just some things that i know from doing this for a while if you have suggestions of other ways to manipulate black and white photos that that you really like to use put them in the comments below um, i'm by def i'm definitely i don't do a lot of black and white work um, so don't crucify me if i'm doing uh, leaving all the most important stuff out. This is the simplest way that I know for portraits to modify the, the blacks and whites in the skin. 
So, all right. If you guys enjoy this, you like this kind of content, uh, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I appreciate you watching. Oh,